Hello everybody and welcome to Hawkeye FX with your host Marcus Toombs. It's the French presidential elections on Sunday and we will find a winner between Macron and Le Pen who came out on top from the first round two weeks ago. Now what does the market tell us and what is it expecting from the election this weekend? If we have a quick look at the euro charts, these are six pairs and uh, I put a vertical line here on the six hour charts to show the opening following the first round of the election and I've put a yellow line there to show the opening price uh, that the market opened. You can see, apart from the pound, Euro, the Euro pound, which has gone fairly horizontal, the Euro has gained significantly against all of its other major currency pairs. So for example, the Euro US from the opening two weeks ago has gained $100 to the current time. The Euro Japan has gained $380. The Euro CAD has gained $479. The Euro Aussie has gained $535 and the Euro New Zealand has gained $593. So what is this telling us about the market? It's telling us that the market is very, very confident that Macron will be voted in as the new leader of France. Now, they're pricing this in and uh, there's no shocks here. So what will the shock be? The shock will be is if Le Pen comes in. And uh, she has stated that she will be looking to uh, end the France in the euro and have a referendum about France staying in the euro. So if Le Pen gets voted in, watch out, there will be major fireworks and the euro will crash. Now, if Macron gets in, then the market is already expecting that. So I don't think there will be a relief rally, certainly not as big as there was um, two weeks ago in the first round. So what would I expect? Certainly the euro is still to gain, uh, but not probably significant. So what would I do? I'm going to liquidate all my positions in the euro tonight uh, before the market shuts, simply because the risks are to the downside. It's not expected Le Pen will, end, will win the race, but if she does, boy, hold your hats on.